What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, we're going to go live today after discussing it yesterday, you know, uh, seeing the comments and stuff. Uh, we want to keep live, we want to keep on top of things, we want to keep it um, appropriate. So what we're going to do is I'm going to skip everything that I had ready for today's video, uh, which was going to be a 40 minute long video of some gameplay, some purchases and some sales, uh, some squad builder challenges. I can't remember one of those transfer ones that I did. Um, some divisions gameplay, daily knockout tournament gameplay, all gone, right? All gone. Um, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to give you a thorough account of the account, uh, show you exactly where we're at, how we got here, why we're here, and then uh, do the marquee matchups and go from there. So first things first, in terms of squad battles, um, it's tough right now. It's tough. It's 22,400. To get to the top 100, 22,400 by 9, which is an average of 2,488 points per game. That's a lot. I am just over that, as you can see uh, up in the top left, hand, top right hand corner. I have 10,218 points, 218, and I've only played four games. So I'm currently on an average of 2,554 points per game. So if I'm as successful in my next four as I was in my last four, I will actually make it into the top 100. Um, it, I'm going to try really hard this week to get the best results possible in squad battles and see if we can push on to top 100. If not, I don't mind going to uh, Elite 1 again. You know, Elite 1 right now is 17,000. Uh, that's still actually quite a high rank. Um, I'll be able to get it, I'm sure, no problem at all. I've still got the four squads from today. I haven't played them yet. I'm going to play them all that later on this evening. I didn't want to play them before we got through uh, what we're getting through here today. In terms of foot champions, I won the daily knockout tournament. Um, as you see, zero wins remaining. I won it first try. Uh, it wasn't really a difficult uh, proposition. And in terms of the weekend league, I finished on 27 wins out of 40. I am happy with that. Uh, I do feel like I want to do better straight away from next week. I did that with quite a weak team, as you guys know. I definitely want to get better. I, I think 29 wins... Is achievable you know I've got 27 I'm only two wins away just two of those losses that I took turn them into wins bang we're an elite tier player I'd be happy with that so next week we're gonna go hard for that but of course we get our two 100k packs and 50,000 coins um, which you'll see on Friday because uh, obviously you're gonna be watching this no you'll see that on yeah maybe maybe Thursday maybe Friday I don't know uh, in terms of divisions guys I've got a good divisions record right now 23 wins two draws one loss of course I'm only in a low division but you can see that my average goals per match is huge at five. And my average goals conceded isn't so bad at 1.58. So that's not too shabby at all. We're doing all right in uh, in divisions. In terms of my squads, let me clear the trade pile first, actually. Because I've been doing some stuff on uh, with trading. So I was buying, as I, if you follow me, actually, if I told about it in yesterday's video. Um, I was buying these Dembele's for 25,000. I sold that one for 35,000. He's now even more. He's at 39,000. I packed a Chris Smalling from my... Squad Battles reward that you guys didn't see because I cancelled it. So I pa packed the uh, Chris Smalling, sold him for 6.7k. I bought Renato Sanchez for 9k and applied a shadow to him, sold him for 11.5k. I bought Danny Rose for 9k, applied a shadow to him, used him, sold him for 16k. Uh, Brozovic I sold for 33k. I didn't pack him, I actually bought him. Uh, I think I bought it for like 27 or 28k on bin. Uh, Visa I packed as well. Sejudo here and Castro. They sell because they're from the uh, the Hyundai A League, which is a, uh, usable for today's marquee matchup. So I've got 7k a man for them. And then there's uh, Montero. I got out of um, foot draft rewards, and you'll see you won't see those either because I've cancelled those two. Let me just bring my chair up here. Uh, Roncaglia also from foot draft rewards. Enrique we've had on for quite a while. And then a couple more of uh, the Aussie League players I had in the club already sold. So that's all good stuff. Um, I've got a lot of other stuff listed up. The J League players are there as well. I've probably made about 30,000 coins from players that I've had to clear. Uh, you know, just like these dudes here, you know, like selling for like uh, 700 or 1500. I had to clear them all because I didn't have enough space on the trade pile. Um, so I've listed up... Uh, you know, I've only got 50 spots. I need to get that up to 100, and we've still only got 15 left. I'll show you the bronze pack method in a second, though. It is super effective. In terms of bronze pack method, uh, first and foremost, you can see here, I have 1,620 players, which is insane. Uh, in terms of consumables, we're, we're looking good for training cards again. I'm not, like, overly keen on using training cards, but I might use them here and there for games that I want to do well in. For position modifiers, we've got a lot of different position modifiers. Some of them worth a considerable amount, some of them not so much. Chem styles, we've got a few, not a great amount. 
Uh, not really bothered about that. Manager League, we've got a few there as well. Not a great amount. Not really bothered about that. Contracts I need to sell. Uh, once my trade pile clears up, I'll sell all of the golds and the shiny silvers. You can see we're stacking up contracts. By the way, if you didn't know, guys, for those of you who have a lot of contracts, especially bronze contracts, you can apply them very, very quickly uh, on web app. It's very, very easy, uh, like considerably easier than anything else. In terms of fitness cards, 36 gold squad fitnesses, 6 silvers, 6 bronzes, 146 uh, individual fitness cards. We're going to build up to that. Hopefully build those up to like a thousand or so at one stage or another would be nice. And then for healing cards, again, I've got a lot of stuff here. I'm, I'm going to clear it out eventually. I just needed to, I needed a trade pass space, which is why I didn't sell any of that just yet. Now, in terms of players, let me show staff actually. I've got a couple of managers I want to sell. Montella I want to sell. How much is he going for? <laughs> yeah, we, we get like seven, eight hundred, seven fifty for him. We'll pop him on there. And Diego Simeone, I want to sell as well. Hopefully, as a Liga Santander, he might be worth a little bit more. Maybe not. So we'll pop him for seven fifty two. And Bilic, I want to sell as well because I got all three of those managers from um, Foot Draft Rewards. So there was one there for six hundred. So we'll drop that down to five hundred and get rid of him too. Uh, we've got plenty of staff other than that. I do need to sort through them, discard the ones that I don't need. Uh, and keep the ones that I will use for no other reason and then I like to keep a clean club you know that's all I've, I've got pages and pages and pages of stuff it's quite unnecessary um, as I say though in terms of players we've got some good stuff of course you saw me pack Adan you saw me pack Talisa you saw me pack Ginta you know that we bought Aurier uh, then I've got some players let me actually show you the teams that I've got because I, I changed teams uh, we sold another item here which is nice who was that another Aussie player 4.5k bronze pack method man I'm telling you guys, bronze pack method is where it's at. You make such easy profit off a of bronze pack method. For squads, I've got this Serie A squad that I'm actually really enjoying right now. I'll tell you what I bought and how much I bought it for. We bought Donnarumma for 1,800 coins, Abate 650, Bonatti at 5,400, Koulibaly 11,500, Dalbert we packed, uh, De Rossi for 3,600, Parolo for 1,800. That's an insane card. Uh, Perisic for 5.5k. Calion for 4k quite a while ago, uh, Edel we had packed, and Nani for 1800 coins. Now, a lot of these players that I've got are actually worth a lot more. Remember when I sold Perisic for like 10k from a draft pack? Look at that, he's already 6.2k. It looks like he's actually already up to 10k. Uh, maybe, maybe 8k, but make a nice bit of profit there. Parolo as well, um, bought for 1800 coins, and we are looking at now at least 26, 30, you know, maybe 3000 coins. So I've got a good deal on these. Cooley Bally was an amazing deal for me. I picked him up 11,500. He's up at like the 16,000, 17,000 uh, mark right now. So I bought him at the right time. You know, I, I bought these all Sunday night because I, I wanted to try uh, the Calcio A team and I wanted to improve this team. Um, and I still do want to improve this team. I just don't know when and how to spend my coins. Uh, this team goes into a 4 one 2 one 2 Nani and Caleon go up front. Edair comes in at Cam. De Rossi goes to CDM and Parolo and uh, Pedersic are the outside midfielders. So that's team one. Uh, team two that we've got is our Bundesliga team. Uh, you guys have seen the Bundesliga team. I haven't been using this team much because I can't find the right um, like the right midfield and strikers. I don't mind Talisa at CDM. I love Cruiser at Cam. I wouldn't mind Thorgan Hazard as one of my strikers, but I need better players to go in the centre midfield and the Bundesliga is just too expensive in that set. So I don't know how much Bundesliga team I'll use going forwards as much as I really enjoy Max Cruiser. Probably one of my favourite cards in the game this year, to be fair. Four-star weak foot, 5-11. Yeah, there's a lot of squad battles uh, games there, but he played a lot of uh, other games as well. I just love this card. It's just incredibly well-rounded. Also, guys, one thing. Uh, it hasn't been released yet, but there is a uh, Quincy Promise card in Concepts and a Casilla. Ooh, they've removed it. There was an 86 Quincy Promise card in Concepts that had reduced ridiculous in-game stats um, so I'm looking forward to, to that coming so that's our Bundesliga team anyway guys and then we go to our Premier League team and in the Premier League team this is the squad I had sold Renato Sanchez I sold who else did I buy Ander Herrera you saw that and in terms of the team we've got Joe Hart in goal now 2400 coins I bought for Joe Hart I bought him because he's six foot five we've still got Aurier He's got, you know, obviously 59 games for the club, 66 games on Keane, 64 on Smalling. I packed Van Arnholt from one of the, uh, probably an SBC pack or something. I bought Wayne Rooney for 3,900. I believe he's a little more expensive now as well. Uh, 3,900 for Rooney. Did I just sell something else again? No, maybe he's still about 4,000. Yeah, still about 3,900, 4,000. Bakayoko's a beast. 
He's going to be in my team for a long time. Uh, and then I went and bought David Clarkson as well. He's been pretty positive for me so far. I've enjoyed him. Uh, Son and Sterling are good as well. I don't like Gray. I need to improve Gray. I need to upgrade to a different striker. But uh, I, as you guys saw in the last episode, I bought... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What's his name? Martial <laughs> and Gabriel Jesus. And I sold them both for a little bit of profit. And then their price went even more up. Um... So there's a couple more sales there, which is nice. So, uh, you know, I bought Gabriel's Jesus for like 59,000. I sold him for 65,000 after applying a Hunter card to him and using him. And he was good for me, no question about it. But now he's, uh, yeah, he's at like 65,000 again. I don't want to spend 65,000 on Gabriel Jesus. I know I've got almost 400,000 coins and I can. Um, but I would, I would much rather not, if possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until after the Foot Champs rewards come before I completely upgrade um, the Premier League team because I wouldn't mind getting rid of David Clarkson and getting a better you know, outside centre mid. I might go for like a Henrik McTarion or something like that to put as an outside centre mid. I think he'd be a good player there. And I need a better striker. Either Martial or Gabriel Jesus is going to go into this team. So this team will also be a 4-1-2-1-2. Um, Bakayoko at CDM. Clarkson and Rooney as the outside centre mids. Clarkson to be upgraded eventually. Uh, I play Son in at Cam. Sterling and Gray at striker so far. But eventually, Gray is going to get upgraded and Clarkson is going to get upgraded. Um, I could also upgrade the defence. Uh, I, I was interested in Van Dyke. There was a period of time, like the, the transfer market right now is just it's crazy, right? Look at that, a thousand coins for him as well. Uh, the transfer market is crazy right now. I could have bought Van Dyke for twenty to twenty-two thousand coins on Saturday when I was looking at upgrading my team. I was so close to also getting Van Dyke. I was like twenty-two k, no problem at all. Now you can't even get him for thirty k. And I just wish I'd picked him up then because he would have been a really, really good addition to the team. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Keane or Smalling, to be fair. I think they're both really good centre-backs. Um, but he would have just been a really, really good addition to the team. Look at that. You are looking at 30,000 coins. 28k there for that one. Um, but 30,000 coins for an 83-rated card. I would much rather wait for weekend league rewards to be out. And if I don't pack them, I'll have, again, another 50,000 coins on bonus. And uh, two 100k packs where I could sell potential players. Now, in terms of the club, I've got a lot of gold players, guys. From the SBCs, from the draft packs, uh, from just playing the game of buying. You can see here I've got a hell of a lot of gold players. Um, I am keeping track, of course, of what I sell from um, the draft account or you know the draft of glory, etc. But we're making just good money right now. And in terms of the uh, squad builder challenges, I did these for basically... Nothing, because I, I, not nothing, but just opportunity cost is all I did these for. Uh, the first one here, we already had all of these players in the club. The four Japanese players here, you can see are in the, the defense. And then I just put English players up in attack. Didn't cost me anything other than bronze pack method. This one, two rares, four Japanese players, four, sorry, four J League players, three Japanese players minimum. We get ourselves a rare consumables pack for that, which is going to be great. It's going to uh, add on to our rare consumables. Melbourne versus Melbourne Victory. Now, this is actually an expensive one. The Melbourne Victory and Melbourne City players are really, really expensive. I already had them in the club. You can see here, everything from uh, this team is all pack pulled. It was all first owner stuff. We managed to get the 96 chemistry. We only needed 90, but 96 is more than okay. And again, it's just a really, really uh, good way. Now, there are a lot of... Um, I've got Russian leagues. I was looking at the Russian league cards here because uh, everyone was starting to buy Russian league players in panic of that Quincy promise. But I guess it was unnecessary. So we're going to turn that in and get ourselves a premium gold pack. Which is very nice. Atletico versus Barcelona. This is the first one I actually had to buy a player for. I had majority of the players, as you can see. The only one I had to buy was uh, Vidal for 1,600 coins. And we get a rare gold pack for that, so it's nice to have all these players already. It did have to be a 78-rated team. Um, I don't mind using Gaia because he is untradeable. Uh, if he was tradable, I probably would have sold him or kept him. But because he is untradeable for me, I don't mind using him at all. We get a rare gold pack for that. And then last but not least, Dortmund versus Leipzig. Now, I had to buy two players here, both Dortmund players. I didn't want to use the players that I had. I actually bought three players because I needed someone to bump up the rating, I believe. So we bought Philip for 1,800. We bought uh, Rode for 1,800. And we bought ourselves Sané for 650. So absolute bargain there. We used a bronze player in the left-back spot as well. Jumbo premium gold back for that. And what we get for completing the whole set is a Prime Electron Players Pack, which is 12 cards, 6 silver, 6 gold. Sorry, Rare Electron Players Pack, 6 silver, 6 gold, and all shiny, which is obviously fantastic. Now, before we get into that, another item sold there. Only 150 that time. Let me go and look at what we've got here and uh, relist some of this stuff for a bit cheaper. 
Uh, we'll try and list it up for like 450. He's left back, right? So the, the fullbacks, there's no space for fullbacks in the um, SBC. But you can use them either at left mid or at centre back on 7 chem. I, I think a lot of people don't realise that. Um, but uh, that's where we are with that. Um, so other than that, guys, the, the next step is to upgrade the teams. Um, I, do, I do like the look of Brozovic. I think I might go for um, I might go for Brozovic up front in the Calcio A team. Uh, not up front, sorry, in midfield instead of Perisic or instead of Eder. I might, you know, because Eder is my cam and he's actually not a bad cam with dead eye. He's got really good passing, really good long shots, decent stamina, dribbling's good, pace is good. Uh, you know, he's got four star weak foot, obviously, which is nice. He's five foot ten, which is good. He actually suits the cam role quite well. Um, but I think Brozovic at thirty thousand coins or so is really good. But I, I just I. The market right now just seems to be rising so much that I don't know where I want to put my coins. You know what I mean? I really don't know where the best place to put coins is. So I've got almost 400,000 coins. I've got hundreds of thousands of coins worth of stuff in the club. And I'm, I'm at that point where it's like I want, to, I want to have a good team. Because I feel like if I get two really strong teams again today uh, or for, the, you know, for this weekend league, I feel like that will put me in a position where I will be able to get 29 wins or, or worst case scenario, you know, come back and get, um, get uh, like gold one again. And gold one's okay. I'm happy with gold one in month one. That's not the biggest problem. But I feel like if I improve the squad good enough, 29, 30 wins should be a really, really expectable target. So I definitely want to make sure that I'm giving myself the best opportunity with the team that I've got and then let it rely on skill afterwards, you know. Uh, so obviously good team plus good player. Not that I'm considering myself a good player by any stretch of the imagination. Ooh, see, look, this is bronze, bronze pack method, man. Bronze pack method. People laugh at bronze pack method. It's just money. This guy's uh, probably not worth too much. A thousand coins for him. But this isn't the guy that we're looking at. This is the guy we're looking at. This is about a 3k player right now, I believe. In fact, let me just list him up. I know he's a 3K player. I don't even have to check. I've sold already enough centre-backs for 3K. But I know the bronze pack method, guys, just pays out like that. It's always, always a good deal. And, and in days like today where there's so many bronze players that have value, it's even better. Because at the same time as you're making money just hand over fist, um, you also get unlimited contracts, unlimited fitness cards, unlimited healing cards that also go to the value of bronze pack method and helping you out but you also get even more players the next marquee matchups or next sbc challenge will also be worth an absolute crap ton uh so there's lots and lots to be uh, positive for for bronze pack method i'm going to hold on to these four players see four brand new players some contracts a shooting card for me there it's just all good stuff you know what i mean you can see there we're up to 382,000 now so the bronze pack method has once again proven absolutely useful. Uh, very, very happy with um, with what's going on with the BPM. What do we get here? Calcio B left back, not really interested in him. A Bundesliga left back. Uh, not every pack as per usual is going to be, you know, uh, a super pack. But in a pack where you make 4,000 coins, that gives you 10 free bronze packs, which you will make coins. Uh, it's, it's just a never-ending cycle of, of patience and persistence. And uh, that is why Bronze Pack Method will for always and ever be one of the most effective and efficient coin making methods in the game. As I say, you know, contracts, fitness cards, healing cards, players, coins, money, just SBCs for, for opportunity cost only. It's all fantastic stuff. Um, I'm going to go and tell I get uh, one more decent player. So one more like uh, either one more Japanese rare because the non rares for the Japanese league aren't really selling for much like two to 400 coins depending on position, sometimes up to 700 coins for the right mids and left mids. Um, but the shiny Japanese players, specifically the right position players are selling for a good amount. Uh, but the A-League players, so long as they're in the correct position, are at least 3000 coins for every single one of them. Uh, which is obviously a good, good deal. So we'll open a few more bronze packs and hope that we can pick up an A-League player. Obviously getting like two or three A-League players in one pack would be nice and ideal. And then we'll move on to our marquee matchups packs and see if our luck is in there too. Uh, so it doesn't really look like our luck is too much in here. I'll tell you what, I'll just do... We'll just do three more packs, three, either three more bronze packs or an A-League player. That's what we're going to do. So this is pack number one. What, and then what I'll do is off camera, I'll sit here and do it all... Um, and then just show you the show you the results afterwards. So that's pack one 
no doing out of that pack. Let's have a look at pack two. We can skip this. You can get gold in forms in bronze packs now as well because of the silver upgrades. Uh, that guy's uh, not a bad card there. We'll store all of that. There's a Japanese player. He's a right wing back. Might get 200 coins for him. Nah, there's too many already there for 200. So we'll discard him. No problem at all. And we'll open our third and final bronze pack. And see if we can get lucky. Come on, EA. Give us a Hyundai A-League player. Don't let the first pack be the pack where I make all the coins. It is letting the first pack be the pack where I make all the coins. But hey, what are you going to do? Let's go and clear out our trade pile again of the few items that did sell. We sold two items and it was just those two items that I had sold that I pulled. Look at that. 4,100 just from that pack alone. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. We've got a lot of duplicates on the bench as well. I need to take care of those at one stage or another. And then we look at... Uh, here we go for a rare consumables pack first, of course. A draft token is, is the dream for a rare consumables pack. Two right mid to right wings isn't bad. Are these... I have a feeling these are like 2-3k right now. I'll, I'll wait until they're definitely uh, necessary and more, more than what they are right now. A few, like there, there's at least like eight, six, six to 8,000 coins worth of items in that pack. That's a really nice return. Premium gold pack as number one. Let's go. Come on. Give us a shiny, a board. No board on this. Flares come out. Is it going to be a good rare player? English. Striker. Andy Carroll. Oh, it's Antonio. It's not Andy Carroll. Let's go. What is he now? Like 6K or something like that? I don't care. I'll sell him if he's 6K. Tell me he's up to 10K. Oh, he's 10K. See ya. I know. I'm sure you guys are like, use him, use him. Four star, four star, high, high, five, eleven. He's eighty rated, ten k, ten k. I can't, I can't, dudes. He's eighty rated, and I can get ten k for him. I gotta do it. I gotta get rid of him. Uh, this guy can go into the club. We'll take. Uh, now this guy will send into the club as well. We'll send all of that into the club too. We'll discard that. Yo, that's awesome. We've already made such good profit. We made like you like I say, six to eight k off the consumables pack. 12, 14, maybe 15k of the premium gold pack. Jumbo premium gold pack up next. Marquee matchups has just been brilliant for us. No, no uh, flare again. The boards don't come down, but it is a rare gold. Argentinian left wing, Ocampos. Yeah, it's Ocampos. As an Argentinian, I think he actually has some value for some of the SBCs. And it looks like Antonio just sold as well, which is nice. Oh, wow. I think that uh, silver Mexican centre back is worth a bit. All right, we're going to keep Ocampos for like 1,500 coins. Uh, we're going to keep all of these. Contracts, again, look at all. It's just money, guys. Profit, 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 profit. That's all that is right there. It's just big, big profit. And this guy could be worth a fair bit for the SBCs. No, he's only 1,000 coins. So we'll actually keep him for ourselves and use him when we decide to do the SBC for ourselves. Red gold pack up next, guys. Come on, at least give me one board. I'm already happy with the profit that we've made, but give me one board. No shine here. Of course, it's all rare players. Three minimum, possibly four or five, and it's going to be... Oh, it's that guy that had team of the season, is it? Fabian. Not a great player. Not a great pack. Maybe they're saving our best pack till last. We get Moreno. Not bad. Uh, Hughes. I don't care about that. We'll keep that. We'll keep that. Don't care about those. Kuyate will send up to the trade pile. We'll discard the rest. And that now leaves us, guys, with our final pack. Come on, EA. Rare election players pack. Give me boards. Show me some love. Come on. Nothing. That's heartbreaking. Oh, it's, it's Medell. He's 82 rated, so it could still be Martial, Son, uh, the, uh, the Brazilian Gabriel Jesus. There could still be a good player in here from the Premier League. There's, there's not. <sighs> there's not. That, that's a tough break, guys. That's unfortunate. We, I mean, we still make good profit. I'm sure our luck will come one day from the, uh, the SBCs. You know what I mean? It, it can't never appear. I'm sure it will come one day. Antonio sold as well, which is great. We're nearly up to 400,000 coins. I'm definitely in a position where I can improve this squad. Of course, like our, our biggest players as well. Forget the two informs that we've got. You know, ones to watch Talisa. Let me, let me get rid of this guy. I don't, I don't want him there. Who am I? I'm never going to use Belander either. He can go. Gaitan can go. And Zonzi can go. Ha I mean, I've got a team and I don't even use Hampshire. I'm going to keep Aubameyang. And I'm going to keep, of course, Ronaldo. But the other dudes, I just, I don't care about them. They might have been useful day one. 
Not anymore. Taliso right now, guys, obviously we packed him. He's one of the best players we packed on the account. Probably the most valuable player. He's uh, about 100,000. Why has his price gone up? He's 120 to 130,000 now. Wow. He was like 90, 80,000 a few days ago. And then obviously we bought Aurier for 45k. And it looks like he's about 50 to he's 60k. Crazy. So we've got like 200,000 coins between Toliso and Aurier. Another 50k for the informs, maybe 40k for the informs. And 400,000 coins. I'm this close to getting a prime on to getting Icon Henry, guys. Icon Henry's price has probably gone up because uh uh, everything seems to be going up right now. But I am very, very close to being able to get Icon Henri. Let's have a look at exactly how much he's going for. You know, if I have a lucky... Uh, if I have a lucky um, set of rewards on Thursday, who knows? Who knows if we could be able to afford him? So it's 1.1 million, 1.2 million at the moment. We're not far off of it, you know. 4-4, four, 6-2, four, crazy stats. I, I would probably put a, a, a Hawk on him, potentially a Dead Eye, just boost that curve, boost that finish in the shot power. I don't know. We're 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 maybe two weeks away from really comfortably being able to afford Thierry Henry, which is outstanding. This though, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.